I do so love the smell of burning plastic. The Plastic Army Man is one of the most iconic toys ever made. It's had a role in the Toy Story movies, numerous middle schoolers have melted it, and there have also been a pretty large number of games made with the little guys. With the scope of gameplay styles that can be used with something as basic as a Green Army Man, it really isn't much surprise that we got flight combat games in the series. However, we still don't know how well this game actually turned out, so let's take a look. This is Army Men Air Combat The Elite Missions for the GameCube. Army Men Air Combat The Elite Missions plays out with short levels about 10 to 15 minutes in length as you pilot vehicles with a variety of weapons and take the fight to the Tan Army and their allies. The story is over the top and cheesy like you'd expect from a game like this, but that usually comes with a humorous element, and this is almost completely absent from air combat. In fact, the game can make you feel terrible to play, as the enemy uses Rottweilers and other innocent critters that you're forced to obliterate. And yeah, I understand why they do it, since the dogs could pick up the army men in their mouths and whatnot, but it kind of comes off as creepy that the developers included this. Gameplay in this title is from an over-the-top perspective, and you use the left stick to move and the two shoulder buttons to shift from side to side and strafe enemies. Weapons like missiles and large bombs are assigned to different buttons, while the A button gives you access to a weak machine gun. Enemy fire in this game is constant and surprisingly hard to dodge, so you won't really have any time off from firing in between sections. The variety of enemies also help to add to the difficulty with tanks and other helicopters providing a larger threat than the foot soldiers who rush out of the barracks. The coolest ability in air combat, however, is definitely the crane device thingy that you have access to. Using this, you have the ability to pick up power-ups that are dropped by fallen enemies, like armor, a weapons upgrade, or an ammo refill. But that isn't the best part. Several items ranging from hats to gloves or even cans are scattered across maps, and using your crane, you can pick these up and drop them on enemy tanks or buildings, destroying them in one hit. In fact, I'm not sure the developers knew how much easier it can be to play this if you just rush around the map and look for a bowl of dog food to drop on the enemy instead of wasting ammo. If there's anything to be worried about though, it's the huge difficulty spikes that the game can take. It went very quickly from being one of the easier games I've played to being extremely challenging in other parts. Some of this is down to the position of power-ups and enemies, but other sections are like this because you have to defeat everyone before moving on, and I really hate it when games do that. Now if I understand what I've learned correctly, this is actually an updated version of a game from the previous generation, but you can't tell too much from the visuals. Cutscenes actually look great and have a solid frame rate, and gameplay also looks sharp. Although I have some very good things to say about Army Men Air Combat The Elite Missions, the one area that the game doesn't really deliver in is fun. And for that alone, I can't really recommend this as a buy. Maybe give it a rent or borrow it from someone to see if you disagree.